This video demonstrates guidelines for packing process scale columns with CHT media. CHT can be packed into all types of axial flow process columns. Please follow your specific column protocols along with the suggested guidelines for CHT media packing. CHT or ceramic hydroxyapatite is a mixed mode chromatography media that overcomes many of the limitations of traditional crystalline hydroxyapatite and provides the throughput, stability and reproducibility required for industrial biopharmaceutical manufacturing for the purification of biomolecules. It has unique separation properties and unparalleled selectivity and resolution. Its unique resolution property makes it a powerful tool for process developers, and Biorad offers optimized protocols for packing and unpacking CHT ceramic hydroxyapatite. These guidelines for handling and packing are recommended for all CHT users to ensure reproducible and high quality results. CHT is supplied as a dry powder. Please use protective equipment, including a dust mask, gloves, safety glasses, and a laboratory coat when transferring the powder. Proper use of a dust mask prevents inhalation of dry CHT. Use a packing solution that is at least 150 millimolar in ionic strength and pH 6.8 or greater. CHT is sensitive to mechanical stress and can fracture. To avoid fines, follow these recommendations on slurry preparation. Always begin slurry preparation by adding the appropriate volume of buffer to the open column, container or slurry tank, followed by the powdered CHT. If you are manually mixing in a container or in an open column, use a plastic paddle in a J-stroke pattern or back and forth motion. If you are mixing in a slurry tank, use a low shear hydrofoil impeller set at a speed fast enough to keep the particles in suspension without creating a vortex. When packing CHT, the usable column height should be twice the final bed height. A slurry of 50% volume to volume is recommended for efficient packing. This will minimize shear forces and particle-to-particle -particle collisions during packing. Use a frit with a pore size of about 10 micrometers. Use a diaphragm pump for CHT slurry transfers. This will also help prevent damage to the beads and avoid the creation of fines. Ensure that the column is level before beginning CHT slurry transfer. The CHT bed should be evenly packed for best results. Larger process scale columns are typically closed systems where the media slurry must be introduced through slurry valves. The slurry is injected through these valves into the column. Determine the dry weight of CHT and volume of packing solution for the column. Be sure to allow for extra buffer volume to rinse the transfer lines and pumps if appropriate for your system. Always begin slurry preparation by adding the appropriate volume of buffer to the container or slurry tank, followed by the CHT powder. Prior to transfer of the CHT media, the top adapter assembly is raised to its maximum height on the column and the slurry is then transferred into the column through the slurry valve ports at the fastest rate to facilitate adequate mixing as it enters the column. Air bubbles are not a concern at this stage. Following media transfer, the slurry tank and transfer lines are rinsed with 5 to 10 litres of reserved packing buffer that are transferred into the column. This step reduces waste and ensures that the transfer of media is complete. The slurry valves are closed after the filling is complete. Allow the CHT to settle for one minute or until a buffer layer of approximately two to three centimeters of clear liquid is established above the settled bed support. Lower the top adapter until completely submerged in the clear liquid. Engage seals marginally as defined by the column manual so liquid will not bypass the seal while the adapter is lowered. Continue to lower the top adapter to release the air trapped between the bed support and packing solution. Begin buffer downflow at 100 cm per hour. Adjust the axial speed to 200 cm per hour. The combined packing flow rate now equals 300 cm per hour. The top piston frit can be lowered until it is approximately 1 to 5 mm above the packed bed. It is important to maintain a headspace of 1 to 5 mm. Once packed, CHT does not rebound or compress. After packing, adjust the top adapter sealing device according to the column instruction manual. Condition the column with 3 to 5 column volumes of running buffer at 100 cm per hour or selected operating flow rate. Start an HETP asymmetry test. This test indicates the efficiency and integrity of the packed bed. Be sure to use an appropriate HETP test, running buffer and equilibrate the column with 3 to 5 column volumes of test buffer using flow rates of 75 to 150 cm per hour. 
The injection buffer is the test running buffer adjusted to a total sodium chloride concentration of one molar. When you are ready to unpack the column, partially disengage the top adapter seal to the value recommended in the column instruction manual. Begin downflow at 200 cm per hour and raise the top adapter at 100 cm per hour. Continue until there is a headspace of 5 to 10 cm and a clear layer of buffer is established above the bed. Completely disengage the sealing device and raise the piston at a maximum speed to its uppermost position. Reduce the flow rate to 100 cm per hour and change the flow direction to upflow. Continue the upflow at 100 cm per hour or less. The bed will lift from the bottom frit and begin to break apart and resuspend. When approximately one column volume of buffer has been added, stop the flow and begin air sparging. Continue to air sparge for 10 to 15 minutes. Next, pump the slurry out of the column through the slurry valves. When the slurry is unloaded completely, rinse the column as recommended by the column instruction manual. The column is now ready for cleaning. To receive additional information about CHT ceramic hydroxyapatite, please visit www.bio-rad.com slash CHT packing or contact your local sales representative at process at bio-rad.com.